I would have never guessed that things would get to this point, but they have. Man, the things I've seen and experienced, it's been amazing. I know now for certain, I can't be on this journey by myself. I need a team spread across the world. Year two in China, and they paired me up with HC who I met a long time ago, and then ran into again in a different country. Boy, does God have a way of revealing things to me, because I never thought I would want to work with this guy. I'm very picky when it comes to those who I include in my circle, but I knew he was one of them when I saw the impact that he had the day he took me to his hometown, Nanchun. A lot of people think that there aren't hoopers in China. They think that everybody here is under five foot, nobody could dunk, is <laughs> ignorance. There are hoopers everywhere, the Philippines, Canada, India. And trust me when I say this, the world is catching up. HC warned me about the hoopers in his hometown. He said they're big, physical, and don't care who you are. They're going for the kill. I was in for the treat. But what I would see today was light compared to the players that I would encounter in the near future. A lot of people here today. Probably more than shot me. This is my hometown. How are you? I'm telling you, this is the style of this style. You know? It's great to see how far things are coming along and it's just nice to be in this hometown where he's from. I know he's just really excited to be here, man. I'm happy to, to experience this with uh, AC. So. Hopefully we can make this day worth remembering. It should be fun though. <laughs> you can feel the anticipation, the support, the love. It was everywhere. All because of him. It gave me chills. It's how he got down in his hometown. But it was time to get it going. And other than the Spaceman and 2K, I really didn't know the guys on my team. But come to find out, I was in good company. I have a clock that runs out and resets over time. One day that clock will run out of resets. When? I have no clue. It's my body. I misused it when I was young. So I never know when it's going to work for me. 
Everybody wants to see me play, and often my body can't meet that demand. And as tall as these guys are, as tough as they are, I know they're gonna play physical. I was just praying that my competitive nature would override my body telling me, no, don't play in this game, Dev. But I couldn't let everybody down now, could I? I wasn't doing my job. I wasn't leading the squad. The way I look at leadership, leaders don't make excuses, cry to rest and complain like I was doing. I had to cut that crap out, get my team together, and give the fans what they came for. Oh, <laughs> 
Even though my body's gonna kill me later, I'm just glad my clock is still ticking. I can't lie, I miss these moments. Gotta enjoy them while you got me. I'm cooking today! After this trip, I asked AC to walk with me through this journey. Because anyone who can impact a city like this deserves a chance to do it nationally. Walk with me into the abyss, and we'll find others along the way. And wherever this 10,000 hour thing goes, hey, so be it. That's where we end up. And as we walk together, I can promise one thing. The positive vibe that you give, they'll live on forever. free he's one of those cases that went against the grain he's a trendsetter got his own agenda he's got the courage to be different and a crazy personality 